Good morning. How's everybody? Hope you're great. Welcome this morning to our Sunday morning moments and excited about this morning. Um, I don't know about you, but my week has been very interesting. One thing I've learned to say, you know, we're doing hashtag no complaining. Rather than saying your day has been awful or your week's been terrible, just say unbelievable. <laughs> so unbelievable. Uh, kind of covers you without complaining, doesn't it? It could be a good unbelievable or a bad unbelievable. But today we, um, man, it's been a week. It's been an unbelievable week for me. Has it been an unbelievable week for you? Um, please comment below and say hey to me. I appreciate it so very much. And, um, look, I'm just looking forward to this morning and our little chat. So, um, what I wanted to talk about this morning was, what do you do when you want to quit? Have you had that kind of a day? Have you had that kind of a week? Have you had that kind of a year? And oh, I see so many of my friends on. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for being on the call. But what do, on the call, on the, on our Facebook live? What do you do when you want to quit? Do you give up? Do you surrender? And I can tell you that I am tough. And I am determined, and I am hard-headed, and I am a type A personality. Anybody else? Raise your hand. That's me, too. But you know, sometimes it gets challenging, and sometimes we get weary, and sometimes we just say, man, I just feel like quitting. I just feel like I'm supposed to stop. Maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this thing. So this is my first I'm going to tell you three things to say to yourself to really help you. It's helped me so much. And my story, of course, is that I never really went through a hard time in my life until about seven or eight years ago. And I was in a very, very dark place. And I was there for three solid years. And I had to become very self-aware and start paying attention to what I was thinking and what I was saying to myself and that girl on the shoulder that I just let talk and talk and talk and I had to learn how to stop her. But what do you do whenever you are just in that terrible place and you don't know what to do? First of all, let me say something that might kind of freak you out a little bit. It might say, what? I never thought that before. Sometimes when we're in a place of stress and pressure and frustration, Surprise! You might have been saying, well, you know, I think this is a bad decision. I think I'm not supposed to do this. But rather, maybe it is a sign that you are supposed to do it. That this struggle and this challenge and this frustration is a sign you're on the right track. And this is the reason I say this. Because when you're in your regular routine and you are not trying to get better and you are not trying to accomplish a new goal and you're not trying to do something new and different and better, you're just in a calm place. You're just in a regular, normal, everyday place. But the moment, who's, who's ever seen this? The moment you want to do something new and different and better, crazy stuff starts happening. What? Where did this come from? Well, maybe it's a sign I'm not supposed to do it. Well, maybe it's a sign you are supposed to do it. And this is why I say that, because when you make up your mind to do something new and different and better, your brain will tell you, your subconscious mind will say, uh, I know what normal looks like. This is not normal. I know what every day looks like. This is not every day. Don't do this. Don't do this new thing. Don't do this better thing. Just go back to the way you were. And that's the job of the subconscious mind is to help you be safe. One of the very most important things it does is say, be safe, be safe, be safe. Don't do anything new. Don't try something different. No, no, no. Go back to the way it was. Don't do something better and different. Well, totally foodly. I don't want to hear you, subconscious mind. I want to do something better. I am going to get better. I want to do this new thing. So quit telling me not to do it. Well, what you have to do is you have to have big emotion and positive words to retrain your brain. To say, this is a new thing and I want to do it. Get off my shoulder. This is a new thing and I'm doing this. So what do you say? So the first thing I have learned to say, and I'm checking my notes. Y'all know I'm a former teacher. I got to check my notes. So here we go. Um, just realize, first of all, your perspective is, okay, this is normal because it's just the old and the new 
struggling. But you have to make sure you keep feeding the new, the better, telling your brain what you want, that this is what you want. So here's the first thing you're going to say. You're going to tell your brain, brain, just want you to know I'm getting better and better every day. And the reason I say that, I say that phrase all the time. I'm getting better and better every day. Because every day doesn't look perfect. Every day, I don't act perfectly. Every day, I don't make good decisions. How about you? Anybody on here says, hmm, I don't make good decisions every day either. I don't act perfectly every day. I don't have the right words every day. I don't have the right spirit every day. But I'm getting better and better every day. And you just continue to tell your brain that. You continue to talk to yourself that we are not quitting. Don't say quit. Don't even put that word in your brain. Because your brain is listening to the words you say. And if you are saying the word quit in your sentences, that's what your brain thinks you want to do. So don't say anything about what you don't want. Always say what you do want. So don't say, I'm not going to quit. Don't say that. Say, I'm a winner. I'm getting better and better every day. I'm getting better and better every day. The next thing I want you to say is brain. Okay. You, your brain is telling you that struggle between the old and the new, what you've been and what you want to be, you tell your brain, I'm getting better and better every day. And then the second thing you tell your brain is that that was then and this is now. Because your brain wants you to act the old way. Your brain wants you to believe that your past is your predictor of your future. Now, I'll tell you a little secret. Your past is the best predictor of the future. But not anymore because I'm getting better and better in every day. And that was then and this is now. So that was then, this is now. When your brain wants you to believe that the past is going to repeat itself, you just tell it, mm -mm, that was then, this is now. That was then, this is now. What I want you to really realize is this. You're in a fight. You're in a fight for your survival. You're in a fight for the better person you know is inside of you that is going to show up. That this is my year. This is my time right here and right now. This is my time. I am showing up. It's happening this year. You must realize that struggle is going to cre create stress in you, but you have to just keep talking with what you want as opposed to what you don't want. So you say, I'm getting better and better every day. So really don't be judging yourself about and knocking yourself down and telling yourself how bad and how stupid you are. You're human. You're human. Celebrate the good and know that I'm getting better and better every day. And know that that was then and this is now. That was then and this is now. So you must say, I'm getting better and better every day. And that was then and this is now. And your brain will continue to get better and stronger and it will absorb those things. And one day your brain will really say, Right, because that was then and this is now, and your brain will know the new truths that you are telling. Isn't it wonderful that God made our brain so that our brain can be retrained? You are rewiring your brain. Now, the third thing is this. I got this. Your brain says you're tired, you're weary, you're not strong enough, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not skinny enough, you're not this enough, you're not that enough. You have to tell your brain, brain, I'm good. I've got this. I'm good. I want this. I've got this. I've got this. And I'll tell you something even better to say. Brain, me and God, we got this. I want this. I'm good. And me and God, we got this. Me and God, we got this. We got this. I got this brain. I want this. I am strong. I am powerful. And today, this is what I want, brain. This is what I want. And me and God, we got this. Go forth and fight for your very life this week. Because seriously, that's what you're doing. 
fight for your life. Get on the other side of this stress. Keep training your brain until one day it wakes up and it will not be in the very distant future, just days away from now. Fighting for your life, fighting for your right thoughts, saying the right thing to your brain, and one day it will wake up and say, you got this, girl. And you'll say, yeah, that's right. Me and God, we got this. Have a wonderful day and a great week. Keep fighting.